I've had this soaking all night, and uh, that makes it a little bit easier to separate. I think most of it's ready. It's a good thing to do on a rainy day. I grew up in the modern world, so I still buy a few things, but to me it's just a lot of fun being able to make things. It gives you a lot of satisfaction. This technique here of making uh, rope out of uh, fibrous plant material, it's a really timeless, simple technology. If I twist it really, really tight, there's basically more friction. Understanding friction and gravity and letting those work together with you in front of your technology is really important. I twist it really tight and then reverse wrap it the other way. The tension of uh, it trying to unwrap actually wraps it tighter. I really like primitive tools. Well, once you have a rope, there's thousands of uses for it. You just think about it, use it, keep a piece around to use for whatever you want. When I'm getting ready to gather logs and material for the cabin, I'll need a rope to drag it through the water. I want to clean up the rope a little bit, make it pretty. As you can simply slowly run it through the flame. singe off the little fibers. Now the whole rope is wet so I'm not worried about the whole rope burning. Now let's see how strong it is. Looks like it's strong enough to drag a log. I should make a lot more rope. I kind of like the looks of this. That's a good place for it. 